Good day, everyone. This is Jill with Astro Press. Today, I'm going to talk about the evil star called Algol. A L G O L is how you spell it. Now, Algol falls at approximately 26 degrees of Taurus. And so, any time any of the planetary influences, Sun, Moon, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Pluto, Neptune, and so on, are in the orb from approximately 18 degrees of Taurus to 26 degrees of Taurus and beyond into Gemini at approximately, oh, I'd say about 4 degrees of Gemini. There's this opportunity for the evil star to glob on and express its evilness through the nature of the planetary body it is globbed onto. Algo, I have found to be showing up in the forensic astrology and in some of the missing person cases that I have been looking at. So I find it kind of interesting to me that as soon as I started getting back into looking at missing persons cases and forensics, Algo is showing up. In the case of missing person Kylie Rodney, who was later found dead, Algo was conjuncting Mars. The same thing applies to the missing lady Jalissa Fuentes out of Selma, California. Algo was also conjuncting Mars. So Algo is all about evil and bloodshed and beheading and decapitating victims and things like that. And think of it as the most gruesome evil energy you can fathom. Okay? When Algo is conjuncting the god of war, Mars, you have evil and the god of war together. What is that outcome going to be? Not good. It was the case for Kylie Rodney and also Jalissa Fuentes. Now, if we go to Tennessee, because those cases were over on the West Coast in California, where I'm from, but if we go to Tennessee and we're in the East Coast, now we've got Eliza Fletcher, the beloved school teacher, the billionaire heiress who went missing on her morning jog in September while Algo was conjuncting Uranus, which means unexpected evil, unexpected violence, unexpected bloodshed, unexpected beheadings, unexpected decapitating and disgusting vile behaviors. And she was found with a gunshot wound to her head. So Algo tends to be a big player in injuries, it appears, to the head area. Not just the head area. It's an evil star no matter what you're looking at in regards to Algo. But decapitating the head and gross things, dissecting and taxidermy type things, doing that kind of stuff to bodies. It's kind of like the, um, if you watched... Hannibal Lecter, or if you watched The Silence of the Lambs, if you recall Jodie Foster and Anthony Hopkins, Anthony Hopkins was eating the victim's, you know, internal organs. It's that gross kind of energy at play. Now, if we look at Algo in the present moment in time, what are we, in October of 2022, 
There's a Netflix series running on Jeffrey Dahmer. Okay? I highly encourage anybody who is interested in forensic astrology or anybody who's interested in understanding Algo more to watch the Jeffrey Dahmer Netflix series. There's a lot that you can learn from it. Now listen, if you don't like gross stuff, do not watch, don't watch it. Stay away from it. If you can't handle it, if you can't stomach it, don't watch it. Okay? I happen to have, I'm very empathic, but I have a moon that falls between the house of Libra and the house of Scorpio. So I can watch some of this stuff on serial killers and, and scary movies and things like that. But not everybody can. And if you're one of those people, my news flash to you is don't watch it. Okay? The other thing you can learn from watching Jeff, the Jeffrey Dahmer Netflix movie, if you're into astrology, anybody here born with Saturn conjunct the IC, like Jeffrey Dahmer was born. You can watch about his horrific childhood, the struggles he had growing up. Saturn conjunct the IC. Jeffrey Dahmer was born with zero degrees of Gemini in his sun. He was born with Venus, Mercury, and the sun all in the house of Scorpio, the house of death and dying, the house of transformation, the house of the occult, the house of secrets, the house that they can, they can equate to really evil behavior, the house that rules forensics, the house that rules mysteries, the house that rules serial killers, is the eighth house, okay? Jeffrey Dahmer was born with the sun conjunct the evil star Algo and Venus conjuncting Algo. When you think of Jeffrey Dahmer, look at there's a movie about his vicious, vile, evil behavior. It's on Netflix. There you go. That's his chart playing out. Venus conjuncting Algo. What did he do to his victims? He lured them in with that Libra rising charm that he has. But the chart ruler is the Venus that rules Libra. But that Venus is conjuncting Algo in the house of horror. And that's what he did to his victims. He drugged them, which is very Scorpio. And then he proceeded to kill them all. And some of their heads he kept some of their bodies he ate. It's true. Watch the movie. It's gross. It's graphic. It's vile. It's algo at play. It's an example of a person who is really playing the astrological energy to the lowest they can go. Jeffrey Dahmer chose to be an evil person. And his chart shows it. Okay? The other thing about his chart is he's got the moon in Aries conjuncting the descendant. So here we go. Strong moon energy on an angle. He was driven to fight. He was driven for bloodshed. He was driven by sex. It's all there to me. Strong moon energy in Aries. He was also born with Mars in Aries. It doesn't get any stronger than that. The god of war, violence, sex, and so on. He was living because he's from the Midwest. He's from Wisconsin. And he was living on that moon line, his moon descendant line in Wisconsin. And that's where all the graphic, brutal violent murders and disgusting things that he did to his victims took place. So, in summary, if you are studying astrology, if you're studying forensics, if you're studying mysteries, detective work, if you find it interesting, you should study and learn about Algo at 26 degrees. And when you meet somebody or you know someone in your family or friends or circle, and you just can't explain why they are so evil. 
look to find out if they have any planetary influences hanging out with Algo, or even if Algo is by itself displaced in a not good place in the chart. You know, it's funny. There's a lot of wonderful people in the world. And then there are these people that are so evil and vicious and vile, and they will do whatever they need to do and not even think twice about what they do. Jeffrey Dahmer just went about his day, hey, every time he would go out, seduce uh, someone to come home to him, he'd drug them, kill them, repeat, and keep doing it, and repeat, and, and so on and so forth. He did it in his apartment, and it's just a very, I thought it was a good movie because it shows so many things that happened, uh, not just with Jeffrey Dahmer's killing, but his, how he grew up. And the, uh, the climate, the political climate at the time of these killings. So the police and how they behaved around this also comes into play. And so that's all I'm going to say about Algo. Know it exists. It's evil. And look for it. When you meet someone, you can't explain why they're so evil and, and, and gross. And look for it if you do forensics. And basically, just be aware I'll talk to you soon. Enjoy.